Jesus was trans. Z is one of the most attractive people I've ever seen. Zeno pronouns refers to any pronoun a person has that is unspeakable. And thank you for your willingness to honor us. Honor! Honor them! Um, wow, they have all of my favorites. Look, it, it's, those are my new pronouns. Hi guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would educate myself on the endless number of genders and pronouns. Now I want to explore the different pronoun options that you can put in your social media platforms like Instagram, Snapchat, and then I want to go to the best app for learning new information and that is of course TikTok. We're going to learn all about new pronouns there. But before we do begin, please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Okay, let's watch this explanation. Pronouns, pronouns, xeno pronouns, neo pronouns. What's happening here? <laughs> what is this? Uh, this video has been requested a bajillion times, which tells me that allies are deeply interested in affirming who we are and understanding our community better. I don't even think you understand your own community because it makes zero sense. None. If you have endless amounts of genders and anyone can be whatever they want on a given day. Also, women don't exist and men don't exist. You know, if your ally is doing ally work and wanting to understand, thank you. You're doing the extra credit and we appreciate it. If you are trans yourself or non-binary and want a deeper understanding about some words that may affirm you, Keep listening. Of course, it's all about affirming. If you blindly said that you are non-binary because you see everyone else doing it and it's the cool new thing, but you actually don't understand what it means because it makes zero sense, then keep watching because he'll brainwash you even further. He and she are the usual pronouns that everyone grows up with. Right, because there's a man and there's a woman. But there's more to the story than just he. There always is, isn't there? He, she, or they. I'm non-binary and my pronouns are they, them. So if you were going to talk about me, you would say, Jeffrey is an amazing author. They are really attractive. <laughs> they being used in place of he or she to refer to one person, in this case, me. Okay, no, I won't do that because that makes zero sense. You don't have to care about my gender identity. You don't have to respect my pronouns, which are obviously Zizam, by the way. Um, you don't have to, I don't care. And I will not call you Zizam Bun Bun Self. I, I won't do it. So a common one is Z. If my pronoun was Z, you would say Jeffrey is a brilliant thinker. Oh, I wouldn't. Z is one of the most attractive people I've ever seen. Wow. The narcissist theory that I have is just being proven every single time I watch these insane woke TikToks. He's brilliant. He's the most gorgeous person that I've ever seen. Because he uses Zazem or Zizer. Like, what? You, you'd say a lot of things, I'm sure. So that is the creation of a... No, no one would say it. See, they expect you to talk about them nonstop. They like the attention. Zeno pronouns. Perhaps one of the most beautiful concepts. Uh, one of the most poetic ways to approach this subject. Zeno pronouns refers to any pronoun a person has that is unspeakable, that is unworkable in the language of a person. So an example would be a Zeno pronoun would be a word. I can't, I can't even say it, right? Because that's the point. They're unsayable. Oh, so we just like silence people. Forget policing language. Just straight up silence them. Straight up silence, people. You're not allowed to assign me a gender. You're not allowed to refer to me because I use a Zeno pronoun. Is this real? Is this real life? Effervescent and unknowable, kind of like a person's gender. That's why I love this one. Oh so. yeah, because the less sense it makes, the more you'll like it. <laughs> so an example would be, uh, you know, a Zeno pronoun would contain a, 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 a set of letters that is a pronunciation that a human being can't pronounce. It's some sound that a human being can't pronounce. 
or that a Zeno pronoun contains an image or a concept that it's alluding to that is actually something that language has no way to express. This dot on the wall, it represents so much, but nothing at the same time. It is actually something that language has no way to express. The movement of understanding where non-binary people come from. So they don't exist. You literally just proved our point. It's not a thing. Take us into very lofty, beautiful, spiritual, poetic places. Thank you for your willingness to understand. And thank you for your willingness to honor us. Honor! Honor them! This is a cult. How could someone say so many words and not make one single point? Zero logic. So let's see, you may have noticed that on my Instagram, I actually don't have my pronouns in the bio. And this is really terrible because I may be traumatizing neo-pronoun users because I'm not doing my part to help normalize the use of pronouns. So let's fix this. Okay, so let's take a look at our options. It says, add your pronouns. Add up to four pronouns to your profile so people know how to refer to you. We got, okay, let's see, we got Zer. Fair, I think that's good for now because I don't even know what those really mean. So I have to, you know, do some research. So let's go to TikTok. It's time to talk about my pronouns. Ni, nem, near. It's a gender neutral pronoun set. Neo pronouns are not that new of a thing. We just came up with new words that fit us better. It's not new. We just came up with it yesterday. It's in the name. Neo, new, neo pronouns. This is so funny, especially when they tell you that, you know, non-binary people have existed for hundreds of years. If you didn't know that, you're just not woke enough. Are all the transphobic Christians gone? Okay. Jesus was trans. Look like this. To be born male, you have to have an X and a Y chromosome. There's other presenting combinations other than XY, but we're just doing XY right now, okay? Y chromosomes can only come from a male sperm. Mary didn't have sex with a male, which leaves us with Mary only being able to pass on XX chromosomes. Therefore, Jesus was born female but goes around the entire Bible and everyone calls him him and a male. So he's trans. The more you know, shooting star. Oh my gosh, come look at this TikTok. They are so cool. Their style and their dance ability. Oh my gosh. Do you think A is self-taught? Yeah, I mean, air caption says A learned how to do this all by herself. People asking about my pronouns. They are pronounced Z, Zem, Z. I love that TikTok. No, you're wrong. Because Z is more fun than bubble wrap, okay? Z is more fun than bubble wrap because I haven't heard anybody not laugh at Zer jokes, okay? Zer jokes. Can I choose pronouns on TikTok? Probably, let me see. So many options. Let's just go through the different letters and see what pops up. For A, we have A, A, airs. Any pronouns. Okay. Fayfair, my favorite. Murmurs. Uh, knee nurners. One ones. Because, you know, you have to clarify you're not two different people. Z, Z, air. There, they, there, V. Oh my god, I won't even attempt that one. They, them, theirs. Thon. Thons. Zim. Ye, yem, years. <laughs> ye, yem, ye, years. Years. Can you imagine learning English? Like being a foreigner having to learn English and this is provided to you in a classroom? Oh my god. Absolutely not. How about yeah, yeah? Is that a pronoun? I forgot about Snapchat. Let me update my Bitmoji. Um, so that it fits the pronouns more. Um, wow, they have all of my favorites. Look, it, it's, she, they, zay, zem, zizer, faith hairs, he, they, a, m, zizer, z, she, her, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I have to update all of my friends and let them know that those are my new pronouns. We need more anti-label people. Remember when that used to be the quirky thing to say? I don't like labels. Now it's the exact opposite. Now it's like, collect more labels, must find more and more labels. Let's bring back the people that hate labels. I'm Cody, pronouns E, M, er, er, or Z, Zem, Zer, Zer, or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z, her, hers. I am a 
white, transmasculine, femme, non-binary, temporarily mostly able-bodied, neurodivergent, obsessive, compulsive, chronically ill, culturally Jewish, Unitarian Universalist, non-monogamous, demi-low romantic, gray demi-bisexual, survivor of acute and complex trauma, millennial, and cat parent in mental health recovery. That last part is all you had to say. Mental health, that's what's going on. I mean, this is all done for attention, no doubt. These people are literally playing pretend, taking on new identities and it's honestly, it's like a power trip for them. Like, oh, I can now make people refer to me as whatever I want. And policing your language. I'm not calling you Bun Bun Self. I'm not. You want people to use that as a nickname or something? Like you're a bunny or you're an it? <laughs> then go ahead. But I'm not going to refer to you as that. It's not a gender. It's not a gender. Something is going on mentally. If you want people to refer to you as um, an inanimate object or an animal, I hope you get into therapy. I truly, truly hope. Because this is not, this is not okay. Forget normal. This is just a sign of mental instability. Something is going on. Also, isn't this offensive to like actual trans people? To say that, you know, your experience as a neo-pronoun user, when you wake up one day and you think that you're it itself, it, that's the same to an actual transgender person with gender dysphoria, who might have gone through years of therapy, you know, and, and suffered with their, you know, dysphoria, that experience is the same as waking up and going by it itself or the next day they, them. It, that's offensive, no? If you're transgender, please let me know how you feel about these people um, using these pronouns and new pronouns every single day because I would imagine that that would be mocking the transgender community. Uh, individuals who use they, them will say that they are trans because they use they, them. There's a man and there's a woman. Oh, I don't feel like I'm on the gender spectrum. And this, you know, it itself gives me uh, gender euphoria. I don't care. You can't police my language and tell me I have to refer to you as that because it makes you feel good. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. That's the real issue. When people start to force you to refer to them as whatever they want. No, gender doesn't exist. Sex doesn't even exist now. You know, that's not a thing. Even kids have to use preferred pronouns in classrooms and people are getting fired and arrested. It's, uh, yeah, it's problematic. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos and I will see you in the next one. Bye.